16, report of the campaign for gender balance, and I invite Candy Pearcy to move it. Thank you, Chris. I'm here to move the report for the campaign for gender balance. As you can imagine, in a general election year, this has been a particularly full and challenging time for us. We have been supporting women going forward for approval for, as parliamentary candidates. We have also been mentoring and supporting women who are applying particularly for the key target seats, but also those going for seats in other levels of activity. We have, are proud that the figures for the number of women in seats where sitting MPs are standing down are particularly strong, where we have five women who have been selected. Two are from BAME groups. 40% of candidates selected in strategic seats, including the health seats, are women. Actually, we have ambitions to do a lot better in the next parliament. We run training at all levels, and one of the things that we intend to do is to strengthen the supply of women coming through by running inspiration days aimed at encouraging women to take that first step as elected representatives by standing for local government. We are working with the Liberal Democrat Women Road to Westminster campaign to encourage people to go and support women in strategic seats. The first uh, event was held in Oxford West and Abingdon in October last year, and we are encouraging activists from across the party to come forward and help particularly in women's seats. However, we recognize that any Liberal Democrat strategic seat is an exciting prospect for activists to support. And I also uh, commend to you the telephoning done by uh, Team 2015. Now, as we move forward, one of the important aspects of the work we do is about mentoring. And we are looking for new mentors who will support women at all stages of their development as potential parliamentary candidates, in particular for Westminster, but also for other elected parliaments. We will be carrying on with our extremely successful Future Women MPs weekends and the next one we expect to hold in the autumn or winter of next, uh, uh, later this year. I'd like to particularly thank the staff in the diversity unit who have been incredibly supportive. Lucille Kumar, Vicky Booth, Arfan Bati have all been fantastic, as has Chloe Bailey, who is the LDW administrator. They are a great team and they have really done us proud. All our mentors, trainers, and our activists who support women I would also like to play tribute to them. It can be very time consuming in helping somebody to go through selection and to then get them launched on their career as a successful candidate. So thank you to all of those, and in particular to my colleague, Ros Gordon, Chair of Liberal Democrat Women, and Laura Gilmore, who is Acting Chair at present. I would like to formally move the CGB report to conference. Thank you, Candy. We've received no questions, so we move straight to a vote. Those in favour of adoption of the report? Thank you very much. And those against? That's clearly carried. Thank you.